Hey everyone, I'm just about to head off on a family vacation for a couple of weeks, but I had to quickly get this video out because I'm really excited about this feature that's in Koala AI Writer. Now it's not about actually writing content, it's actually AI images. Now I've only just found out about this tool and I've been playing around with it and I'm actually really excited about some of the things it can do. So if you've not heard of Koala Writer, it's an AI writing tool that many people are using and it's highly recommended by some of the biggest names in our industry. So people like John Dykstra from fatstacks.com and also I'm from yeez.com, two of the biggest names that I personally know and have seen how successful they have been. Now we are using it as a tool to create first draft copies of our text-based content but I've actually, like I say, found out that you can now play around with AI images in there. And what's more, they hardly use any credit, just one credit inside Koala Writer to create one AI image. Now the tool is very new and it is very limited inside. It's actually Koala Chat. That's the actual tool inside Koala Writer. If you've not tried Koala Writer, you have Koala Writer that does the full blog content writing. And then you have Koala Chat, which is very similar to ChatGPT, where you can get short, snappy, quick answers. And like I say, me and a friend have been playing around with it today. And we're having a little bit of fun. So I thought before I head off on my holiday, I'll get this one last video out and show you a quick demonstration inside Koala Writer. And we'll see if we can come up with some nice images. So before we get started, I just want to remind you, there is an affiliate link in the description if you want to try some free credits inside Koala Writer so you could test the writing tool. And you could also, like I say, play around now with the AI images. I also want to mention if you are already an existing customer of Koala AI, I definitely recommend you join their Discord group. It's where I have been getting loads of information about the tool the roadmap for the actual product. They have so many things planned in the future. Like I said, this AI image part is very new. I think it's been out a month for maybe five or six weeks. And at the moment, it's only available in portrait mode, not landscape. So they are working on that and they are expanding the tool. But over the last, I'd say six months, the amount of features that's come out for their AI writing tool is incredible and I think the AI side of it will develop just as quick as well. So, but for now, let's jump on the computer and let's test a few prompts and see what this thing is capable of doing. Okay, so we're inside my account now and as I was mentioning before, you can see some recommendations here by people like John Dykstra and some examples of the content it can do. But for now, let's take a look at the AI images. You need to go to Koala Chat. There's the two features in the top left hand corner here, Koala Chat, like I say, is more like a kind of chat GPT, a quick prompt, quick answer solution inside this tool. And then Koala Writer is more your text-based content where you can get full length blog posts, get first drafts, be able to come up with some outlines for your writers. Again, I must say, I don't use this to 100% produce content. I use it as a first draft copy but like i said let's go over to koala chat and have a look at the images so what you need to do is you need to type forward slash dream and i believe you have to use this little symbol here and then type your prompt but i've actually tried it without that and it does seem to work but for now let me just use that little symbol there and then i'm going to type a topic and a subject so let's type a cat sat on a fence okay hit go and we'll see what that comes up with it does take around 30 or 40 seconds it, it does seem like a long time but actually if you're patient it's not a long time at all and while we're waiting for that like i say i just want to say it does take just one credit and there you go you can see there is a cat sat on a fence and it actually looks pretty good so let's give it another one. Let's try something else. So again, forward slash dream. Let's do those symbols and let's type something like a temple in China in the snow. Let's try that. And there we go. It's pretty impressive. The only thing I found that it can't do, and I don't think any of the AI image tools are good at that, is human form. So if we try 
something like this. Let's say um, a man sat in a field. Let's just try that, see what that comes up with. Like I say, I don't believe human form and shape like hands and feet. It doesn't get them right most of the tools, even like mid journey really struggles with that. So let's just try this. And there we go. As you can see, it has come up with the image. But again, as mentioned, can you see his leg there? That doesn't look right at all. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's very good for human shapes or forms. But let's actually try something like um, something to do with nature. Let's try dream. And I'm not going to use these symbols now. I'm just going to put jellyfish in the ocean and see if it can do it without that prompt, them symbols. OK, and it's finished. And as you can see, that one is really, really good. I actually really like the nature and kind of underwater ones. I'm actually going to just try one more. I'm going to try this one. Again, I didn't use those um, symbols, so we'll just leave those out. I'm going to put um, clown fish in the ocean swimming around coral. So let's just try that. And there we go again very very good just a little discrepancy there that little blob could probably get it to do that again but for the first attempt I think that is pretty good like I say it's very new to me I'm still experimenting with it as you can see it's only available in portrait mode I don't think it'll be long at all before they have landscape mode and then you can maybe use it for thumbnails featured images uh, like I've mentioned before in some of my videos, Google's new AI search engine is going to heavily focus on your featured images inside your website. So the more clickable and kind of clickbaity images that you can produce are going to get more clicks through in Google's new search engine. So I think it's you know going to be a big part of blogging is AI images. I know Google's relaxing a lot of its policies around AI and AI content. So I think it's definitely worth playing around with. So like I say, it's early days, I'm not totally adept in this yet, but so far for my first few days of testing it, pretty happy with what it comes up with. I'm pretty sure there's some better prompts you can put in there. Like I say, join their Discord group, ask questions in there. It's such a helpful and vibrant group. I'm really enjoying it. I don't usually join Discord groups. I don't really like Discord, but for the community around Koala Writer, it's really, really good. Again, links in the description. If you want to try these tool out, it is an affiliate link. If you do purchase it, I will make a commission and I appreciate you using my links. So I just wanted to get that out there. Be like I said, before I jet off on holiday and I will see you all when I get back. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.